So we're going on a mission today, guys. We are currently on the Ambassador Bridge on our way to Detroit to see if we can find the brand new gluten-free Chips Ahoy cookies. We want to also look for some Nick DiGiovanni Osmo salt, some Ryan Trahan Joyride candy. I want to see if we can find some more Feastables Mr. Beast cookies. They're gluten-free and vegan. And we're just going to do some wandering and see what else we can find. So our first stop is a Meyer. We're probably not going to find Osmo or Joyride here because they have partnerships with Target and Walmart. But let's just go wander and see what we can find. I don't know about you guys or if you're Canadian or American or from somewhere else, but definitely love checking out when you go aisle. somewhere Let's new go. to see what kind of products they have. This was supposed to be their gluten-free aisle and ended up being a bust. But it turns out Meyer likes to stick their gluten-free products with the regular products, which is kind of cool. So it's all mixed through each other. You're going to find their gluten-free cookies with their cookies and the gluten-free pizza stuff with pizza stuff. Dude! Gluten-free golden, gluten-free mint, gluten-free double stuff. Mom, mom, mom. Look at me. Chips are the gluten-free one you've been looking for. So they seem to have a lot of options, especially in the cookies and cake section. Lots of new products that are gluten-free, dairy-free. Magic Spoon's Then there's some you gotta be good. careful. Catalina Crunch and Magic Spoon. I've heard great things about high protein, low calorie, but unfortunately a lot of them use whey protein as their protein source. So if you can't do dairy, beware of those. I'm sure you're great at checking labels by now. Right nearby was the Target, so we popped in here to see if we could find Ryan Trahan's Joyride Candy. He has an exclusive partnership with Target, but we didn't find any. We did find some of the gluten-free Oreos, not the mint, and we didn't see the Chips Ahoy. Then off to the chocolate section to see what we could find there. I love this brand, Justin's. We'll get to that in a sec. And Unreal, much cleaner brand. However, a lot of them do use milk in it, so you have to find the dark chocolate products. Justin's was all dark, at least the ones that we found here, so we were able to purchase these. I haven't tried them yet, so let me know what you think if you've tried these ones. We've tried their peanut butter cups, and they were delicious. And they had new plant-based Reese's, and they had lots of feasible chocolate bars, but no cookies. Next up on our list was Walmart. So we ended up finding some Osmo salt for Elliot as well as some other YouTuber products. We didn't buy this but Elliot pointed it out. They also had a great selection of cookies and crackers and the Oreos and Chips Ahoy and the Unreal Candy and an amazing assortment of healthier condiments. So this was funny. I think this was our third or fourth Target. We almost walked out before checking the candy aisle, but Elliot remembered and we turned around. Luckily we did because they had all the Joyride candy. We tasted a piece from each of the four flavors and then decided we were gonna get two packs because they were super delicious. I love how they use cleaner ingredients and less sugar. So we accomplished just about all our goals and you know what, while editing this video together yesterday I was trying to pull up some screenshots of Feastables cookies only to find out that they discontinued them back in February 2024 so that is why we didn't find them. So I think we consider this a fully successful trip. We found everything that we possibly could. I can't wait to get home and unpack our haul, try all our new goodies. If you'd like to see a review of the Sweet Lauren's Ready Baked Cookie Dough, you can check out this video next where we bake it, try it raw, yes raw, it's vegan dough, and turn it into gluten-free, dairy-free ice cream sandwiches.